the Beatles have arrived. Well, to be more precise, just one beetle have, has emerged. Technically, even that one didn't emerge on its own. I actually accidentally... Oh, never mind. I see that another one is outside. Awesome. But okay, before I show you a little recap, this is Ali Morina di Hatoma. Let me just check. I don't want to, I don't want to tell you the wrong information. Alo Morina di Hatoma. Yes. If you remember, I received four grubs, four larvas from a subscriber and those larvas grew and grew and they were getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then one day they evolved into a kakuna. Technically speaking, they pupated, transformed into a... I can't remember the word, but basically they looked like Kakuna from Pokemon. And now they evolved once again, but this time they evolved into a Heracross. No, no, but really, male looks like a Heracross. Actually, the Heracross looks like this beetle because these are real and Pokemons are, believe it or not, not real. First one to emerge was one male, but in all honesty, he didn't emerge on its own. I was able to see them under the, you see, I had them in this bucket and I have been able to see them through the plastic. And then one day I noticed that I see the third, so maybe all of them are outside. We will see, we will check. So one day I noticed that I can't really see that one. It is some, something is weird. So I was just digging to see if I can reach the, the layer where they barricade themselves in. But accidentally, as I was like scratching the surface, everything collapsed and there it was. The beetle was actually at the very moment emerging from the, from the pupae, pupa, whatever. But it was just emerging. So probably it would spend more time inside the dirt, but because I opened it up, it emerged sooner. At least I believe that's the case. Because for next like two weeks, the rest of the beetle haven't emerged. Only now I noticed that they are outside. That is also new for me because yesterday they weren't outside. So I will now take them outside and show you. Look, male is actually eating the beetle jelly. That's the beetle jelly that I bought on Terra Plaza. So that's the male. And these, I believe, are females. Yeah, this is female. And this is also female. Now, I don't see the fourth. There were four. Oh, it is actually here. And that's also female. So that means I have one male and three females. And there is a lot of flies inside. So many flies. They're so annoying. Okay, let's take them out. Oh, they have, they have really strong claws. So hard to grab them. And finally, the male. So here they all are, the beetle army. Now you see, for some reason, this male's horn is a bit crooked, you see? And also this part. It goes like on the left side, hope that won't cause any trouble. But they're so cool, look at them, look at them. You see, females are more simpler, like really simple. And the male is like, it is different color, but I'm not sure if that's because he emerged earlier. So that's why he got that reddish tint. Or it's just like, he is like that. But really cool. So. Now we will make an enclosure for them. First, I need to set them inside. I'll just put them for now back into this. Ah, look, look how hard they are holding. Oh, it actually hurts. Go there, dig. You see, you can't take them off because they're like, Ugh. they have these tiny claws and it is really, <laughs> and, they're, <laughs> and they're super strong. Come on. This picture is so funny. <laughs> I surprised her. Because if you give them enough time, they will just grab on. Go. <laughs> so funny. Now, at first I bought this plastic tub so I can keep them inside. But then I thought, wait a minute. I have one huge enclosure that it is sitting empty. And yeah, it is all the devil's enclosure and I can use it now for, for them because see, it is huge. I think maybe even too big for them, but it doesn't matter. I know that they aren't long lived. So yeah, we will just use that. 
I'll put this enclosure like this so it's not in entire frame. It will be basic. Let me get some stuff. I will use this piece of wood that I already had inside. I will use these two pieces of cork bark just so they have some, some extra things and this branch. It should work. And for the substrate, I got this cocoa fiber. Actually, I need more. This cocoa fiber and I will mix it with... I need something to hold. Maybe this. I don't want to put too much stress to the hinges. Okay, that will work. I will just dump more cocoa fiber. I will just dump this cocoa fiber and then I will also dump equal amount of potting soil. It actually isn't equal amount, but close enough. So now when I mix that up, it should give us nice and naturalistic look. All right. I really underestimated how much dirt can this enclosure hold. I want to make a hill here. Now to see what we will do with these. I want this to be like a branch coming out of coming from inside and this like some sort of piece sticking out so this cork bark we need to compact everything they will dig inside so making it compact it will be more fun for them at least that's what i think this like here now it currently looks really shitty but we have one special edition i mean special final touch that fixes everything yeah it is leaf litter much better don't you think now it lacks few details maybe there's some rock that it is sticking out of the dirt because really like this enclosure isn't already heavy enough. Let's add the rock. Yeah, that's genius. What do we have here? Hmm. Hmm. And you know what this dirt needs? A snail house. Definitely a snail house. Put it here like it is half buried. Sprinkle of this stuff. And also one final, final, final touch. Tiny bit of sand. Nice, looks like a proper piece of forest, right? And just a tiny sprinkle of broken leaf litter there. I actually like it now. Now you have seen how it looked when we just had substrate and these pieces of cork and wood and branch. It didn't really look that, that nice. But now I dig that. Mwah! Nice, I'm convinced that beetles will enjoy this. Now to get them inside. This camera is actually pointing down too much right hmm. i'm still figuring it out the male just digs tiny bit while the females went all the way down i won't be no don't you see how strong they are no, 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 don't 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 come on ah ow it hurts actually hurts <laughs> there, now to take a few shots before they are all gone. And they are all gone. I didn't even manage to record females. Just that male while he was hanging over there. All of them went into dirt. But, but I believe at night they come outside to eat. So I will actually wash this beetle jelly. Because it's really dirty. And put it back there so they can eat 
once they emerge again. And too bad that this enclosure doesn't have a front opening. Now I can just record through the glass. That's not really clear. I actually was extremely lucky because here I have perfect breeding pair. I mean not pair, one male and three females. You can't get better than that. It's like perfect for breeding. And I don't know, we can probably make this a uh, kind of communal tank. We can put something inside. I should probably get some wood lice or something like that and put them in or something similar. I don't know. It is here and I really love it. With time there will be updates and they will include this enclosure from now on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I really think that these beetles are interesting. So if you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>